As part of the half cent sales tax initiative, there are $335,000 a year set aside for um, affordable housing. When we started the program, it was, it was probably the most difficult part of the half cent sales tax ballot to really get our arms around because we found out there were state regulations involved. It wasn't simply us going out and designing our own program. We had to follow state law and work with local groups to find out really what our needs were and complement what we think um, has been the successes and sometimes the failures or the downsides of the community development program. Again, another federally funded program that has a lot of strings attached. So the, the emphasis was with affordable housing to look where the gaps were, look what our local needs were, uh, work within the state guidelines, and uh, put together the most efficient and effective housing program we could. We've limited the use of these funds to our target neighborhoods, Fort Concho, Rio Vista, Reagan, and Blackshear. Um, there had been some community development expenditure in the Fort Concho and Rio Vista areas, so we started, I think, the greatest emphasis in Blackshear, and now you've recently seen that cleanup uh, to take place in Reagan. But these funds have been designed specifically to help buy down mortgages for first-time home buyers. And uh, it really is an amazing program, which we've, we've been really challenged to get the word out to those who qualify. But we've been successful in this year in doing that using our local banking community, the local building community. We have uh, local contractors who understand the program now. And so someone can buy a, a $90,000 house that actually has had the mortgage bought down significantly um, in the $40,000 range and it gets them into a lot of home for a little bit of money. So that's how we've designed those funds. Also, we've worked with Rebuilding Together and other local agencies to see that um, those who have had trouble getting into homes or getting homes rehabbed um, have had more help than they had found in the community otherwise. Uh, in the past, uh, I know $75,000 a year went to Rebuilding Together to help uh, their cause and that their their target is kind of an, an older population but again it puts more folks in quality housing than had um, been seen in the past so as I said we've we finally feel that we've got that program off there has been some criticism by the community of our speed but I do think that if you look at the other programs within the half cent sales tax initiative everything else was much more defined from the get-go uh, Rio Concho Sports Complex you know you kind of know what it is. You've just got to go out and get the design help. Affordable housing was, again, what is this? How do you target it? What are the restrictions on us by the state? How does this complement our existing programs? It really was a much more complicated project. So a lot of the time um, spent on that since 2004 has been in the design of a program that is legal and really will see a long-term benefit to San Angelo, and we think we have that. So uh, the new building that you see to date is in Blackshear, and um, again, you'll, you'll see other housing starts in other areas, but Blackshear had the most vacant land available, and, um, and we're proud of what is going on. You'll also see Galilee building over there. Galilee is another housing partner in the community. Another thing that's been going on with regard to neighborhoods, and again, Blackshear and Reagan, I think, are, are two excellent examples. It really doesn't do us any good to help housing starts um, or even rehab of houses in neighborhoods that no one wants to live in. And I think the reason that these housing programs are now successful is because you've seen significant neighborhood cleanup. In Blackshear, you have members of the WTOS that have literally gone um, house to house, block by block, encouraging uh, residents to clean up, get rid of abandoned vehicles. Um, in some cases, even report uh, code violations on their neighbors because there is a great sense of pride in that historically African-American community. But if you really want to see the pride flourish, the, the pride of future generations, you have to help them clean up. We have done seal coating projects to help the condition of the streets. Uh, we've worked with the police department uh, to bring crime prevention programs into the neighborhood. We have seen, again, I mentioned WTOS, uh, KSAB, and other organizations 
literally cleaning up lots that are vacant or are owned by absentee landlords or are owned by residents who simply don't have the resources themselves, they may be elderly, to haul off some of, of these kind of blighting influences. So um, it's been a really, it's been a, a, a real good program. And I think, again, you see the success in that with um, a, new, a new housing program that's going to start that is actually uh, multiple units, and that is going to receive uh, low-income housing tax credits through the Texas Department of Housing and Community Affairs. So even more housing is coming to Blackshear. More recently, I think in uh, the state of the city, we've, we've uh, shown uh, visuals of our neighborhood cleanup project in Reagan. Again, that's kind of an extension of the city organization's commitment to neighborhood cleanup and neighborhood revitalization. Reagan is an older neighborhood in the community. It is a target neighborhood, and yet it had a lot of alley issues, a lot of debris on, on lots, and we just needed to get out and help the neighborhood remove a lot of that so that then the idea being they can stay there and keep it clean. We'll help them get a lot of the, the blighting influences out, but then they must take over and see that those blighting influences don't return. And um, hopefully we'll be successful there. Certainly there are a lot of partners in that neighborhood that can help with that. And this concept will now move south uh, back into uh, Fort Concho and Rio Vista, which is where kind of some of the early community development housing starts were. So we're kind of coming back around and um, the commitment's gonna stay in these areas. So we're looking forward to seeing the community reinvestment, the private sector reinvestment here as well.